my name is Lewis. Uh, I've been shooting for almost five years now and I'm currently the Vice President of Avarachers. Hi, my name's Yayan and I'm the current President of Avarachers and I have been shooting for 11 years. Uh, well, as you've probably seen in films such as Robin Hood, they often use uh, what's called a back quiver, which is you, well, it's on your back and you go across your shoulder, bring it out, um, hook it onto the, onto the string, shoot it. Looks very fancy. It's, the reason why it's not used though is because it is not practical at all. The motion itself can cause quite a lot of stress on the shoulder. And with, in archery, you want to keep your shoulders in as good as health as possible. And if you look at a lot of um, graves of traditional archers from the Dark Ages and even before that, a lot of their right shoulders in, in uh, the skeletal structure, the right shoulder is often dislocated from all of the motion and all of the power that they've just put into their shoulder. So um, I'm going to show you guys a typical bare bow setup. This is the riser, the main part of the bow. And so these are the limbs, and they slide directly into the limb like this. So after you put your bow together, the next thing to do is to put on your string. Um, then it's time for the little attachments that bring the bow together. The first attachment that you'd use um, for a bow is the pressure button, which goes on the arrow knock just alongside it and this stops the bow from veering horizontally so that you have a stable horizontal aiming point. The, uh, another attachment that you can use is the weight which helps to stop your bow from jumping out of your hand uh, when you shoot it. Right, uh, similarly to a bear bow you have a sighted bow. Um, all the basics are the same, the rise of the limbs, the string, pressure button. There are a few basic and key differences between them as well. Uh, so first of all, you have the sight, which is this here. It is what you use to aim. Um, so when you're at full draw, uh, use this little dot in there to aim. Uh, at different distances, you have to put it up or down to compensate for the angle that you need to aim at. So if it's further back, put the sight further down, so you're aiming slightly upward. And sure in flight, the arrow will uh, rise then dip and hopefully it'll go in the middle. Now, another difference uh, between sighted and bare bow. Uh, on bare bow, you typically, well, you always use bow weights. On sighted, while you can use bow weights, usually you see what's called stabilizers. These are just massive, long metal sticks, essentially, with varying amounts of weight or rubber on the end. Uh, what they do is fairly self-explanatory. They just stabilize your shot. Um, so when you're aiming, you're typically a lot more stable and you can easily adjust them to your needs. Um, another uh, essential detail of having a bow is the arm guard, which goes on the hand that you hold the bow with. Uh, the second important bit is the tab, which you put um, on the hand that you draw your bow back with. So this just helps to stop your hand developing any calluses and make sure it's not painful. An alternative to the tab is you can use a glove instead. So this is a rather fancy one, which you can use to pull back the bow with. Regarding arrows, the first type of arrow you generally encounter is the aluminium. Um, these are used with bare bow or recurve. Um, they're quite cheap and they're very beginner friendly so if you break them like by hitting them in a wall or breaking the knock or the fletchings they're very easily repaired. Uh, moving up you have an arrow like this. Uh, it's an aluminium carbon composite and what that means it's, uh, it's inside this an aluminium tubing then a carbon outside is wrapped around it. It's a lot um, stiffer than the aluminium arrow. It's a lot more durable, generally, uh, and a lot more expensive. Uh, they perform usually a lot better at higher levels of archery. And then the final arrow that you have is a wooden one, 
which you uh, use for longbows and other sort of traditional archery uh, styles. Especially since um, the fletchings, as you can see, they're like feathers. Um, so um, when you knock a longbow, you have to rest the arrow on your hand so that when you shoot it, it doesn't like slice your hand open, basically.